welcome welcome today we're going to take a look at some republic period porcelain and before we get into it hey if you're just checking out the channel for the first time and you like antiques and you like prices make sure to drop the subscribe button we're always updating with new market results so let's get into it here we've got a lovely pair of Republic period porcelain Femil Rose vases looking pretty much like what we would expect them to look like. Having the pair is rather nice. The scenes are well painted and we have here a final price uh, about a couple months ago of $3,000. $60 with 48 bids so some good action there and we'll take a look really nice crisp pictures which certainly helps move the piece along you do get that nice white looking porcelain shine uh, without it having a, a sort of a snowy look to it which uh, I always think is good for this period got good indications of uh, fired polychrome and painting some nice uh, handles as well these are looking rather fetching quite well done and bravo to the person taking the photos here photos really do help things move along we've got more color really nice To have the painted pair is wonderful. Some fun child scenes. Let's see, do we get to the base? Hmm, appears we do not see the base, but it may be included. Yes, here. And that is about what we might want to see. That seems right to me. Oh, looks like we can't zoom in on the specific picture, but this base looks about to be the time period we have the china mark written on i'm sure some people might have comments specifically about the way this china mark is written and if you do please add them below we're always trying to learn those details but shape and make and colors all look right this is a very nice pair here and i'm not surprised that they uh, came down with such a strong auction result Moving on to our second item, we have this Famille Rose planter that is purported Republic period. $961 with 50 bids, quite a nice result here. And if we take a look, we have some great scholar scenes. We have uh, someone playing uh, what appears to be the Gujang. Uh, is that the Gujang? We have someone someone who is reading or reciting poetry. We have a painter, and then looks like someone with a cup. And on the other side, oh, we have a nice little handle there. We have two people playing what I assume is Go. It could be other games. I just don't know that many other games. Really interesting work on this, though. Um, you know, this reminds me of some of the interplay that you would see uh, after the artisans in Asia saw what the Europeans were doing with uh, chinoiserie style, uh, especially in France. This seems to have a little touch of that to it, and it's kind of interesting. It's quite an interesting planter, actually. Let's see that base. It looks like, yeah, we were drilled at one point foot looks pretty good I don't know this might be a little older than Republic let me know in the comments what do you think I this is a smashing lovely piece though really really like this yeah let me know in the comments what do you think of this one do you think this is Republic or do you think it's slightly older um, you know this might be the tail end this might be very early republic or the tail end of the Qing dynasty I don't know what I do know is that it's wonderful and a great result at 961 um, quite interesting 
that's always why we like doing this. And here you get another planter. This one's a little more typical, mid to late Republic. Uh, looks a little more what we might expect to see more commonly. And it'll also give you a little bit of context for why this one might appear so uh, to be a bit more unique. Um, this is really what we're expecting for Republic period planters. Um, you have the nice, uh, nice scene here. We have a similar sort of you know, leisure scenes, this time with women um, instead of the uh, men scholars. Um, and uh, it looks like we have a fan. We're on a porch or in a field somewhere next to what appears to be the house. It's sort of a garden, classic garden scene for a jardinier, which is a good fit. And then we have a little bit of work on this flared edge up top. And the one thing that's quite nice about this one is that we do have a lot of calligraphy on it. Um, so this probably has a poem on it. Here we have the author. And then we do have the uh, base image. There's a little bit of a uh, imperfection or a dent, a crack there. And let's see, do we have the poem... All right, so the poem is not translated. Well, that is always pretty cool to have so much written uh, on a vase and it really steps it up. And I think that's probably why we get this kind of strong, pushy price at about $610. So last item, a little bit unique among the others we're looking at, a bit more of an entry price for uh, Republic pieces. Uh, we have the Griselle painted, uh, sort of brown work style actually looks very fetching i think um, and in the right uh, location would be really nice one of the reasons i wanted to look at this one there's a couple of reasons is the porcelain itself appears to be a very high quality um, so we have a very well done form and a base that I really wanted to take a look at. Also, nice about this little carved base, uh, usually when you see nice carved bases like this, you've got a nice early to mid-century piece on your hands. Of course, that's not a hard rule, just, a, just an observation from where I am in the world. And some lovely scenes, a good amount of calligraphy. And let's see what we have here. Uh, not much explanation, so that's all right. But we'll take a look here at the base. Really, what I wanted to look at here is we've got an old impressed, or we've got a uh, pressed mark, and then a really, really good-looking Republic-era base that is a little bit reminiscent of finer bases of earlier periods, but also a little more. Uh, a little more technically made where it's a little little bit more sterile or uh, I'm trying to think of the words they use to describe uh, it's it's almost lacking lacking the life of the older uh, bases I don't know it's very hard to describe but this is really good looking Republic base in my condition in my uh, opinion I would be very happy to, to turn something over and see that and here you get a kind of interesting uh, what I was saying, a really fine porcelain shape here. Um, you know, they're showing that you can see the light through it, uh, which is a good testament to how thin it is. Yeah, quite an excellent piece, if you ask me. Um, and 596, I think this is a good price for this. Um, I could see this pushing a little bit higher, maybe 800 uh, on a good day. So good for the seller and good for the buyer. Um, but uh, that is going to end our review for today. Really appreciate it if you stopped by, folks. Also appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and the like on the video. Both of those things really help out the channel, and it makes uh, and it gives us a little bit of encouragement to keep going. So, thanks, folks. Really appreciate you stopping by, and have a great rest of your day.